Good morning, everybody. July 30th. Can you believe it? We're starting a class on July 30th. You might be saying to yourself, what the friggin' whatever are we doing on July 30th getting ready for a class? Well, that you'll find that out today. And I want to welcome everybody. Nobody wants to put on their cameras this morning. What's up with that? Mr. Pavin, good. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, there's my niece. I'm, she's going to put hers on. All right. I, it's just good to see everybody. And also, I appreciate you all taking the time out on a Saturday in midsummer. The furthest thing from your mind probably is the University of Frickin' Laverne. But at the same time, I appreciate you all coming on here and uh, talking about our Business Practicum 390 course uh, for this coming fall semester. Um, the purpose of this is because I know we do a poor job at the university leading up to this set of courses that you take in your junior or senior years. Uh, we don't explain it to you. We don't explain why you're doing it this way, why this is happening. So but one of the main purposes of our first Zoom meeting today is just to show you and tell you why this all works and why you guys are in this class and why you're here on July 30th uh, uh, listening to me. Uh, <clears throat> let me just make sure I got everybody checked in here that I know who's here. Okay, good. Um, what this program, this program began about uh, 12 years ago. And uh, the College of Business and Public Management at the time was growing. And we were looking for better ways to serve our students and more importantly, prepare our students for the quote unquote real world. And a program was developed uh, by Dr. Rita Thakur. And uh, Dr. Thakur thought about coordinating four different types of classes into one semester. And the sole purpose of that was to prepare the student for a career, for working at a job, for having the skills that an employer would want to look for before they hire you. So then they don't have to worry about training you. So that was the purpose of this program. And it has developed over the years we have raised over $300,000 for charity from this program in 12 years, 300,000. In other words, you're gonna be running a company this semester, and then you're gonna be earning revenues, you're gonna be paying expenses, and then you're gonna be making a profit, knock on wood, and that profit will go to the charity of your choice. So on one hand, you're learning how in the real world to run a business with certain responsibilities of team members and working and selling your product. And secondly, you're raising money for a good cause that your team will select as a charity. So I think that's where this program started. Now, you're all taking four classes, most, all of you, most of you, four classes this semester. The practicum, Business 390, which is being taught by yours truly, Mr. Hassey. You're, teach, you're being taught a management class on understanding management organization and management disciplines. I believe you're having Dr. Furitan in that class, or you might be having Dr. Hicks. Uh, Greg, what, who are you having in your management class? Who's the professor? Um, let me check that real quick. Check that for me and check who you're having in finance too. Um, so you're having a management class with, I think, uh, Professor Hicks. I'm not sure, but Greg will confirm that for us. Then you're taking a marketing class with Professor Rossum and learning about marketing and strategies of selling, advertising, internet, social media, blah, blah, blah. Then you're taking a third cause, course called the Business Finance Class 330. Now, that course, I believe, is being taught by Professor Hippler. Is it, Greg? Have you seen that yet? I believe that's either Professor Hippler or Professor Abadante. I, I think know. you guys have Professor Hippler, but whatever. That's a business finance class about finance, learning how to raise capital, taking the financial statements and financial analytical information that you learned from accounting and applying it to capital and working capital. 
all these four courses work together to prepare you. So when you put on your resume, when you're a senior or even after this year, when you put on your resume, I've a business administration major from the University of Laverne, and I took a concentration of classes called the practicum where we ran a business and generated actual sales and profits. And the first thing your employer go will say, damn it, you must have had Hassey as an instructor. And secondly, that's a wonderful thing to have in your resume because they want to see you with that type of experience. Now, I wanted also to thank everybody for sending me your bios. A couple of people have yet to do that, but almost the entire class, and that's a rarity in, on, for July 30th, have sent me all your bios. And all of you are working. All of you are participating in student athletics. All of you are participating in student government, fraternities, sororities. But the main thing is you, most of you are working now in the real world. Now you're gonna be taking the skills that you're learning from management, finance, marketing, and this class to be a supervisor, a leader. And that's what's key about this program. So the reason we're meeting on July 30th, so early a month before school starts is because we wanna get you prepared for all the stuff you got going on the first few weeks of beginning the semester. You're getting used to three different professors and three different classes. At the same time, you have to put a business plan, a product selection, a charity selection for a company in the first month of the semester. So we need you to get prepared. And that's my job beginning today is to get you all prepared to do all this. If we work hard the month leading up to school, the next few weeks, Trust me, it makes the entire semester easy, bearable, manageable. One of the reasons why I sent you a, a request for a biography is because I know all of you are extremely busy. You're, you're participating in sports. We have a baseball player with some baseball players. We have a softball player. We have water polo. We have dance participants. We have students in student government. We have students who are in organizations like sororities and fraternities have, as active leaders in those organizations. We have students who are in choir and, and doing other arts, drama activities. Plus, in addition to all that, you're working. So you're going to need to realize how you're going to have to manage and balance all this stuff this semester. Talk about multitasking. And that's my job is to help you all and also offer you all a place where you can come to and say, Professor Hassey, I can't do all this. I need help. What's going I need help in managing everything. I need, can you point me, give me some direction? What can I do to better manage this? Because it's going to overwhelm you if you don't get prepared. It's just like life. You know, many of you, uh, when you graduate from college, you're going to start in a, into a career. You're going to get up at six in the morning, travel on the freeway or travel on Metrolink and go to a job and have strangers tell you what to do. And you're going to work with a bunch of weirdos. That's not easy. Well, we're kind of giving you a head start in this program to do that. And if you take it seriously, but also still enjoy it, it's going to make your transition to the real world that much better, that much sweeter. And that's what this is all about. I got some chats here, let me just say. Thank you, Greg. Your finance professor is Hippler. Your management professor is Hicks. And your marketing professor is Rossum. Thank you very much, Greg. You get an extra credit for today. Um, so Professor Hippler is gonna be teaching you finance. Professor uh, Hicks is management and Professor Rossum for marketing. All four of us are working as one this semester. And if you feel like we're not all working in together, your job is to come to me and say, you know, we're not doing this in marketing that you said we, we that you Professor Hassey said we are supposed to be doing. I need feedback, not only from the, your fellow professors, but feedback from you guys. 
it makes it a lot easier. We're going to have two students helping us this semester called Teaching Assistants, and they've done this prior. Blimber, are you on board? Can you, uh, can you say hi to everybody? Hello. There's Blimber. Blimber was, a, was the CEO of our last semester in the spring team, and they raised over $4,000 for their charity. And I'm not gonna say, I, I don't wanna embarrass Blimber, but Blimber was one of the best CEOs I've ever had in the 10 years I've been working with this program. Not to say that all CEOs were great, they were, but Blimber was exceptional. And I asked him to join us this semester as a teaching aide to give you guys some guidance and help in all the pitfalls and all the struggles and all the stresses that you will have during the course of the semester. Blimber has experienced those. He knows about them. He's managed them and done them very well. So Blimber, thank you. And Blimber is gonna be with us uh, through the first few weeks of the course and also throughout the semester to help us with our program. Blimber, do you have anything to say to the group? I mean, thank you, Professor Hassey, for that. And um, I mean, uh, it's gonna be hard at times, but like, you just gotta push through it. I think the best thing that helped us was teamwork. It's like the main thing that we focus on and we got far, so yeah. Thanks, Blimber. Blimber mentioned a key word there, team. Over the next couple of weeks, prior to our August 13th meeting on campus, I'm going to be breaking us down into two teams. That's another reason why I wanted your bios. Now, I know many of you from accounting class. I know many of you from sports. I know many of you from being on campus. So I know, I know a lot of you, but I don't know all of you. And that's why I needed the bio because I'm gonna be breaking down our 18 students in, our pract in my practicum into two nine student teams and you'll be forming your organizations. I will have that, those teams organized prior to our August 13th meeting, okay? Now, um, in regards to that, one of the things that we you need to start thinking about is what will be your responsibilities on this team? What type of position you would like on the team. Every one of us are going to have a position in certain responsibilities. Now, many of you have indicated in your bios what you would be interested in. I've sent you a document defining those responsibilities. I hope you had a chance to read it. And I want you to think more about it. Many students indicated their desires to be VP of marketing, VP of sales, social media, website manager, that sort of thing but I need two key positions to be filled over the next two weeks prior to our start date in class on August 24th. And that is our chief executive officer, the actual individual who basically coordinates and runs the teams and the chief financial officer, which works closely with me in managing the accounting and financing. Now it's not that difficult. It's a lot of pre-templated spreadsheets, but it takes up a lot of time. And chief executive officer takes up a lot of time. Matter of fact, all the positions take up a lot of time. But in order for your team to be successful, every team member has a responsibility, has a task, has reporting requirements. And I need you all to get those set up. And by the, when we meet on August 13th in the classroom, we're going to, in, in that class, select our officers and positions for our company. Once I do that, I'm going to interview the chief executive officer candidates and the CFOs to try to scare you away from not doing those jobs because I'm going to frighten you with all the stuff you got to do. But seriously, Blimber's here. We have another teaching assistant who couldn't make it today because she's working, Brianna, who's also been through this. Their jobs is to mainly help the CEOs and the CFOs to be organized and get ready to manage their teams, okay? I'm telling you, 
it's great experience. Blimber, hey Blimber, how you doing with your your job, your company that you formed? Are you guys doing all right? Oh, yeah. uh, pretty good, I am. Good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. This bad. gives this gives you the opportunity to start businesses, to be an entrepreneur, to do a lot of stuff. So take advantage of it, but also, as I was saying earlier, you got to be prepared for all the responsibilities, all the work that all of you are going to be doing. And that's a key. Each one of you will be graded by your team performance, but more importantly, by your individual performance in your responsibilities in your teams. Not everybody gets an A. Your, B, your grade is based on your participation, your activity, your accountability in your team. Okay. So think about that. I'm going to be working on that myself over the next two weeks to get our teams organized. If once I set up the teams, if many of you, if some of you say, Mr. Hassey, this ain't going to work. I don't uh, particularly care for a couple of individuals on my team. I, I just assume change. I hope that doesn't happen. But if it does, we can meet that challenge and go accordingly. But the key thing that you all have to work on, and I know this is the awful time you're trying to enjoy your summer and here's Professor Hassey yelling and screaming about all the things you got to do. But please think about your ability to do these positions and the time acquired. One of the best things about the 390 class is we're not in class that much. We're in class twice a week for maybe 45 minutes at, at a pop, maybe a little bit more in the early weeks. But once we get rolling and we start in selling, we're in class for 45 minutes to a half hour every Tuesday and Thursday because you're doing a lot of work outside of class, selling, managing, reporting. And so we have to be aware of those tasks. And that's my job over the next couple of weeks to get you up to speed. Now, after all this orientation of the first 15 minutes, does anybody have any questions or concerns that you want to ask me now before we move forward. Okay. I am now going to show you about a two minute video, which is kind of boring, but also it's very informative about our program, about why we do this, about why, how this fits into your business administration, economics, whatever degree how this all fits in. So let's watch this video right now. It'd be nice if I bring up the video. There we go. All right, here we go. I just finished our summer session yesterday, and now we start the fall session today. When do I get a break? When do I get paid? What's going on here? All right, let's bring this up. I shouldn't complain to you guys. It's the last thing you want to hear. All right, here we go. Boom. All right, take a listen to this. The integrated program is intended to introduce students to the real world of business. They take finance, management, and marketing in one semester, and they take a fourth course called the practicum. In the practicum, they start a business, a real business with real money. You team up with a group of students, and you get to see what it really means to start a business from the ground up. We pick our different positions. We have CEO, CFO, the COO, marketing team, a sales team. So once you establish your team, the next step is to figure out what you're going to sell as your product. My group came together, and we picked this two-in-one retractable cell phone charging cord. Our company is Mad Shades, which stands for Making a Difference, and the reason we chose a product Shades is because it was a fun and quirky product. You can find business planning courses pretty frequently in business schools, but we actually make you run the business. You're out there selling, 
you're dealing with supply chain issues, you're dealing with customers who are fickle, you're dealing with uh, market research. All along the way, you have a lot of help and guidance from very experienced professors and adjunct faculty from the university. But it also gives you the opportunity to learn about business, work with other business students in a competitive environment, and still have fun doing it. During the practicum, I learned the importance of social media and marketing and how we can use social media to entice our customers to buying our product. Operations gave me a chance to really make sure my team stays on track and also keep track of our inventory. I was the sales director and I chose how we were going to sell the product at the events. I learned the nuts and bolts of how to run the financial department of a business. My favorite part of the program is the second presentation to Wells Fargo because the students show that they have progressed both personally and professionally. In the first presentation I was stressed, I was nervous, but right now when I just did my last presentation I was confident. I knew what I was talking about because I spent the whole semester learning and just actually doing these things hands-on, so I had no worries. Instead of going to class and learning information that's gonna go in one ear and out the other, I'm able to go out there, get hands-on experience that I will be able to take with me through my entire business career. Okay, that's a, that's a great video, very briefly, but gives you a good idea of what the program's all about. Now also, I have a YouTube list created for our class, and I'll be sending you the link with a follow-up email from today's meeting. If any of you are interested in internet, social media, web site development, because you are going to create a website for your product, there's a couple of videos there that can give you a head start on getting that organized. We use a, uh, a service called Wix.com, and Wix.com will be our, our platform for our website, for our team. There's a few videos here that explain all how that all works. One or two of you on every team is going to be website manager, internet sales. You'll be in charge of the website and learning how to develop it. It's pretty easy to set up, but it takes a little bit of a hassle to manage it. So whoever is thinking about working with the internet, working with uh, social media, uh, if you want to get a head start on how all this works with our course, please feel free to go view these videos in our YouTube playlist prior to class beginning. And I'll send you all the links with a follow-up email to all this. Now, speaking of what we have to do and a timeline. I sent you all uh, an email des describing the, uh, the meetings we're going to meet and all that sort of thing. But also more importantly is our schedule, our schedule of events. These are the things we are accomplished and the dates we're going to need to be aware of coming forward. We're meeting today via Zoom. If you can, and I urge you to, if you can come to campus on August 13th and August 20th on a Saturday at 10 in the morning in Landis 102, we're going to do more organization, team planning, and I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Now, if you can't make those classes, understood, you might be working, you might be on a family vacation, or you just want to enjoy the last few weeks of summer. I will be Zooming, I mean, re recording those classes via Zoom. If, you're, if you want to Zoom in on the, on the session on the 13th and 20th, you can. If not, I'll be recording them and posting those videos to our, to our playlist in YouTube and also to our Blackboard site, which will be up and running in the next week or so. So that'll be available. But I urge you... To, to attend these meetings if you can. It's just going to make your life much more easier as school begins. And we begin our classes on August 23rd, Tuesday at 3.30, and your other classes begin at other times during the day. And uh, we our first task, because if we have our teams all set, our job responsibilities done, our first task as a team is to determine what we're going to sell. What kind of products are we going to sell? Is it technology related? Is it fun? Is it sports related? Is it uh, whatever? Uh, you have to start thinking about that. A couple of things you should be aware of. We're not going to select any products 
that we have to ship from China. Because with the supply chain issue now, with the relations economically between China and the United States, it's very difficult to do that. If we want to order products from China, we probably can do them, if we so desire, through Amazon. So we can order products from Amazon as long as when we order the product, we're aware of that shipping will be rather easy. Sometimes Amazon will tell you, well, there's going to be a supply chain issue here. Well, then we can't do that. I would prefer that we buy our products in California, <laughs> the state of California, Southern California. It makes it easier to manage, easier to get, receive them, easier to order, reorder more product. It's just easier. Now, when you order in California, the product is going to be more expensive because here's two things you have to worry about. The cost of the product and what you're going to sell it for to the community in your market. We only have 10 weeks of sales. Uh, as you can see here on September 22nd, you're going to put together a business plan presentation to Wells Fargo Bank. A representative of Wells Fargo Bank will come to campus, sit in, and you will give a 15 to 20 minute presentation of your business plan. If that business plan is accepted, and it will be, because we that's my job is to get you prepared for that. If your business plan is accepted, the next day you will have $2,500 in a checking account with Wells Fargo Bank. And you can begin the ordering process of your product and begin the operations of your team. So from August 23rd, our first class, to September 22nd, basically three weeks, we have to put together a business plan, a product selection, a marketing study, financial plan, all for that presentation on September 22nd. Now, me telling you this now on July 30th, you're going to go, holy crap, how are we going to do all that? I don't even know what the hell we're doing. Trust me, and Blimber will tell you this, and Brianna will tell you this. And if you talk to any of your homeboys who have taken this class before in other semesters, they will tell you it will get done and it'll be all right. You will be able to do it and it'll be fine. It'll be good work. That's our job from today, July 30th to September 22nd is to prepare you to do all this. And that's the key. And that's what we're going to be striving to do over the next few weeks. So as I said earlier, your first accomplishment is to tell me what position you're interested in. Once you do that, I'm going to organize us into teams, but you can start on this right now. What type of products would you be interested in to sell? Products that can cost anywhere between $1 and maybe no more than $15 a piece to buy them. And then you can sell them in the market for anywhere from $10 to $20, 25 30 is a stretch, dollars a piece in the market. We don't want to buy expensive goods and sell them for $50 or $100. People are just not going to buy them unless you can have a corporate partner or work with a company who might buy a bunch of them from, from you as corporate gifts. But our main job is to selling to the community, selling to our fellow students, selling to the University of Laverne community, selling to the public in Southern California through either going to events or through our internet website. That's our job. So we have to find products that can do that. It can be sustainable environmental type products. It can be technology related products with cell phones, computers. It can be animal related products. A lot of popularity now with, uh, with um, animals, pet shelters. A lot of people are having animals, getting animals, enjoying animals, those kind of products. There's a whole variety of things. You can look at uh, well-being type of products, water bottles, uh, yoga mats, 
anything to do with personal well-being and and health. So there's a lot of a lot of things you can look at. That's what I want all of you, and especially you creative monsters out there who are marketing and and work for companies in marketing. What do you think might sell today? What do you think you might be able to sell, market, and manage for ten weeks this fall semester? Remember, that's the thing about it is. After September 22nd, that's our initial phase of determining what we're going to do in the business plan. Then we go 10 weeks of selling the product. All leading up to mid-December exam week, when we shut down the business, collect all, find out how much money we make. And then on December 15th, I believe, let me make sure I got that date. Yep, December 15th. We give a charity presentation. We all get together in the Campus Center. We invite uh, all our professors and uh, President Lieberman usually comes and we invite our family and friends and we invite our charities and we tell everybody how we did this semester and we donate the charity checks to our designated charities. That's the process of our semester, something different. Something different than sitting in a classroom and having Professor Hassey talk about debits and credits. Something different than sitting in a classroom learning about writing or learning about science. You're actually running and managing a business. And that's what the cool thing about this is. Now you can see if you like this. Do you want to do this as a career? Do you want to be in marketing? Do you want to be in finance? Do you want to be in sales? Do you want to be in distribution? Do you want to be in product development? Whatever this, this does, it shows you what you have your passion for going forward in your career. And I think that's kind of fun. And my job is to do help you do all this, but at the same time, and Blimber and Brianna can somewhat attest to this, even though sometimes I can be a pain in the neck, is to make it all fun, enjoyable. The reason why I teach is definitely because of not the money. <laughs> definitely not the money. I teach because it's fun. Because I enjoy it. For 32 years, I got up every morning at 4 a.m. and went to work in the investment banking business. 30 of those years, I ran my own business. From 4 a.m. till 8, 9 o'clock at night. The reason I was did that is because I had an ego and I wanted to make a lot of money, but also I enjoyed it. But after a while, especially the older I got, it was tough. So I sold my business. And I got into teaching because I enjoyed teaching and I don't need the money that bad. I still like the money, but it's not that big of a deal anymore. You want to find a career that pays you well, but more importantly, you enjoy it. You have passion. You enjoy actually going to work. I'm sure on some days, the student athletes on our in our class here, some days you probably go, oh, I got to go and see. Greg, who's the weightlifting guy? Who's the uh, strength guy that you guys work with every morning? Uh, his name's Matt Durant. Matt Durant. I always forget his name. You got to get up at 3.30 or 4, 4.30, 5, 5.30 and go see Durant. He's going to kick your butt, swear at you, yell at you. Well, why is he doing that? Well, number one, he really enjoys swearing and, and yelling at you. But secondly, he does it because it makes you a better athlete, more disciplined, prepared. Well, I'm kind of going to be doing the same thing, except it's not going to be at 3.30 in the morning. But it's going to be to make you a better manager, a better businesswoman, a better businessman. And then that's going to make your job easier to be competitive once you get the hell out of Laverne, trust me, this is all worthwhile. So that's our process. So beginning now, we start thinking about how we're going to manage all this. And your job now that you've given me your bios. And uh, Nick, if you're here, I think I saw your name. Nick and Ebby, I need your bio, buddy. If uh, Matthew Diaz and Brandon Pham are here, I need your bios. Brittany, Lee, if you're here, 
send me your bios, please, because it makes my job a lot easier if you're here and, and can do that this weekend for me. Uh, there's Nick. I see Nick there. So um, if you could do that, because we're all going to meet again on campus on the 13th. Now, I want all of you to be honest with me. If you can't make it on the 13th, just give me a heads up and I'll set up the Zoom and set up all that stuff so you can either zoom in or I can send you the video of the meeting later because I don't want you to miss a thing because it's going to influence your ability to work with your team. So on the 13th, we're going to get together at 10 in the morning in Landis 102. Donuts will be provided. If that's a good enough incentive for you to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning, donuts will be provided. And at that meeting, we will have our teams already determined. We will talk about the responsibility each one of us will have on those teams. And then we will sit down by team. And hopefully some of you have thought this out. We're going to pick and select our product. What we going to sell. Once we select that product, then we're going to select the charity that we're going to be raising money for. I see a question here. Brandon, thank you. I think I did receive that. I, uh, I got so many, I kind of got lost in the shuffle. I did receive it, Brandon, thank you. Um, so once we have our product, then we kind of find a charity and there's so many charities in Southern California to choose from. We want that product to kind of coexist with that charity and we can involve the charity in our fundraising. We can involve the charity in having being at our events and getting involved. So that kind of go, the product and the charity kind of go hand in hand. Doesn't have to, but they do help. So if you're interested in marketing, sales, I want you to especially think about a product especially think about who you, we will sell this product to. Will we find corporate partners? Do we have some, can we sell it to students? Do we wanna find, go to events in the community, farmer market events, charity events, athletic events? We have during the course of our class in the fall, homecoming in October, we can sell at homecoming, have a table, and sell at homecoming on campus. We're a little bit more, have a little bit more freedom this fall because of the pandemic. It's still out there and we still have to be careful, but we have a little bit more freedom of what we can do as far as on campus or off campus events and be safe. Two years ago, we had to do this whole class online. Boy, that was a lot of fun. Couldn't do anything outside of the internet. If you're interested in developing a website, internet sales, internet managers, social media, developing an Instagram, a social media account, start thinking about ideas in that regard. And a couple of you have expressed interest in being a CFO or a CEO. If any of you have any more interest in that, let me know. I'll be contacting those students who said they'd be interested in being a CEO or a CFO, I'll be contacting you within the next week and we might have a, our own individual Zoom session to talk about those positions. I've recorded all this and post gonna post it in my email back to you tomorrow if you wanna go over this, but we've covered a lot of material. Anybody have any questions or concerns on July 30th? Go. You guys are too easy or you're half asleep. Probably a combination of both. Okay. Now, especially our student athletes and students who are involved in student organizations. You'll be getting and beginning your training, beginning your organize, organization of those activities, especially if you participate in fall sports right now. I know Football comes, comes to camp in another 10 days or so. Softball, I know, works out in the fall. Baseball works out in the fall. Water polo. So if you're once you get your team schedules, your practice schedules, make sure if there's going to be a conflict 
or some type of issues in that regard, you and I talk about it. Make sure it's left. I don't want to create any stress with you and participating on your team, but also I don't want to create any stress and you participating with our with your team in our practicum. Make sure everybody's on the same page and we can manage accordingly. That's important. Because remember, you're going to be having three other classes where you're going to be doing exams, assignment, papers, presentations, that whole bit, as well as doing your own team management. So it's good to get a head start on all this and for your schedule and so you can manage your time. And I know working and earning some money is important to all of you and we got to work around and manage that as well. I am very flexible, but one of the things I will not put up with is you telling me one thing and then something else happens. Or you saying, oh yeah, I, gotta, I have no problem with this, Mr. Hassey, and then you never show up to class. And we never know what you're doing. We're not going to be, let's nip that right in the bud. If there's a conflict or if there's issues, right off the bat, now tell me and we'll work around it. I think many of you know me. I'm not an ogre. I'm a nice guy. I, I want to work with you and we can manage this accordingly. The most important thing of being in college is to prepare yourself for life after college. And of all the courses, you're taking, this is the one that's directly related to that. And that's why we wanna work on that and make sure we do a good job and do well in, this, in these efforts. Blimber and Brianna are here to help us as your teaching assistants. I am here to help you. We will have many people involved to help you manage all this. But if you're not honest with us, and letting us know what you're doing and how you're feeling. And if you're having any difficulties, we can't work together. And that's important. Okay, guys, I've said enough for this Saturday. Uh, I'm going to send you an email tomorrow with some uh, comments about today's session. Uh, some more uh, ideas I have about the team organization. A link to a recording of this uh, video plus our playlist in YouTube and uh, get you all organized. So I'll see you next on August 13th, two weeks from today at 10 in the morning in Landis 102 on campus. Uh, and if you cannot make it, you're, it's, it's okay. I want you there, but I also say, you know, it's, it's okay. But just let me know you can't be there and I'll make sure you get all the information to be there, but I stress, as you can see, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of things going on and to be to spend an hour with us on the 13th and the 20th will be very beneficial to you all. Okay, I've said my piece, go back and enjoy your summer, go back and enjoy your family, stay healthy, be safe, enjoy the summer, have fun, and I'll talk to you guys over the internet in the next couple of weeks, and we'll see you on the 13th of August. All right. Adios, everybody. Thank Take you, care. Joe. Thank you, Professor. Nick, I uh, I see your chat. Nick, I, I might have missed it. If it's you sent it to that email, I'll find it. It's probably gotten lost in the shuffle somewhere. So don't worry about it. I'll track it down. If I can't track it down, I'll let you know, but don't worry about it. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Thomas Guterres, how you doing? Nope, he's gone. All right, we're out.